Alright guys, it's Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa. This is Calculating Heat Size Part 4. Alright, now everybody say, okay Harvey, I want the biggest heater there is for my pool. Alright, now these are my opinions and I want to explain you why. This is on a Stay Right SR model like the, the RDD2. These are minimum flows. Minimum. What is a minimum? Okay. Minimum means if you need a dollar fifty to go to drive to work and you got a dollar forty nine. And if you don't have the dollar fifty, you're going to run out of gas. All right. That's a minimum. This is the minimum you need. All right. Same thing with heaters. They need minimums and they need maximums as far as gas pressures and water flows. But right now we're talking about water flow. So argument's sake, we say, okay, Harvey, we want the biggest um, stay right heater and that's a 400,000 BTU. It needs minimum 40 gallons a minute. Going through that heater to maintain proper running temperatures to cool off that heat exchanger needs minimum 40 gallons a minute. And I see it a lot on Haywards and Jandies and everything else like that where they got these big huge heaters and this three-quarter horsepower pump, inch and a half plumbing, all right, and the piping connecting the heater is gray and bulged and you know the owner says well it's got to be the heater I mean nothing wrong with the pipe why is it bulged well because it doesn't have the proper water flow and it's starting to steam and cook the pipe so severe that it's backing up on the inlet flow and swelling in that pipe and don't laugh I see it all the time so argument's sake, let's go one further. We got a 400,000 BTU heater. We have a horse and a half stay, um, let's go Haywood pump. Now everything has curves and everything else like that, but let's, let's look at the chart and say, okay, this pump can do 55 gallons a minute at you know, this kind of curve, this how high up and everything past the pool is a lot of calculations but just 50 gallons a minute and that's with the filter being clean and everything being perfect and now inch and a half pipe I would have to look it up but maxed out inch and a half pipe so you may say okay well let me put a two horsepower pump on there and push more water inch and a half pipe will only push X amount of water, roughly in the 60s, 70s, high 60s, possibly. I say 55 gallons a minute. It's safe. That's really a lot for inch and a half pipe. So, argument's sake, let's do 55 gallons a minute. We need 40. So, we're fine right now. We're cooling off the heater and everything's great. But now comes the sand filter, the cartridge filter, and everything else like that. And she's starting to clog. Well, what happens because overuse, not backwashing enough, I can't stress enough how much to backwash, backwash, backwash. If you got a filter cartridge and you got a pool heater, you know what I tell you? If it's not big enough on a cartridge filter, throw it away. If you got like a C500 um, uh, cartridge filter, Haywood, don't get me wrong. They're excellent cartridge filters, but they shouldn't be on a 400,000 BTU heater. Throw it away. Get yourself a sand filter. Get yourself a big, bigger uh, cartridge filter. If you like not backwashing and cleaning your filters, get a large cartridge filter, something that can handle volume. Okay? So this is where it's critical. These are minimums. So argument's sake, we have a three-quarter horsepower pump 
inch and a half plumbing, anybody that would recommend to you a 400,000 BTU heater, in my opinion, doesn't know what they're talking about because you can't cool the heater off properly because the three quarter horsepower with everything perfect may pump 30, 40 gallons a minute. All right. Well, guess what? We need minimum 40. All right. That's to keep from dry firing that heat exchanger in this tub. All right. You want your heater to last a long time. This is minimums. All right. And every heater, I don't care if you talk to somebody, well, there is no minimum on this heater. Just you'll be fine. Da, 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 da. Yeah, throw it in. Well, he's wrong. Okay. You have to size your heater to what your equipment can do as far as water flow. And the same with gas. If you don't have enough gas supply to fit this 400,000 BTU heater, it's not going to work. All right. Most tanks, depending where you are, 60% of the gas in a tank is non-usable. I talked about this earlier, so I'm not going to get in it. We're talking about water flow. All right, so just because you want to heat your pool doesn't mean you can take a 400,000 BTU heater and just throw it in there. All right, you got to know your water flow. And there are tests you can do, but a flow meter is the best $80, $90 that you would spend or $120, whatever. You can do it by... Um, Pressure, uh, um, pressure gauges and a vacuum gauge too. Know your water flow. You can calculate it that way. But uh, if you if you're critical, go to a flow gauge. All right, flow gauge is the way to go. All right, guys. This is my opinion. This is why you guys are burning up heaters because you're putting too big of a heater into a small system, inch and a half pipe. A uh, small pool pump, too small of a sand filter, too small of a cartridge filter. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.